All right, everyone, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 walkthrough with Bork17. How are you all doing today? Uh, I I'm doing pretty well and uh, still, you know, got a little bit of that cough that I've been dealing with, but like it, it's not holding me back. So we just finished, I guess, Mission 7, as they say, but like can't the first one in Chapter 2. So let's get over the to the century has two, all kinds of we're on the, second the Midwest one. in the in golden here. 20s. The US economy is booming. The constantly growing uh, real quick um, mankind is I'm going to have the uh, drop a like if you enjoy the video and hit subscribe if you want to see the rest of these and I'm going to have the timestamps in the bottom. So if you're here for a particular uh a struggle on a particular mission, uh you can just click the bot or Find in the bottom and jump to it. Mallorca, so. the Midwest in the golden 20s. The US economy is booming. The constantly growing cities are pulsing with life. Motor cars crowd the streets, which will soon be too narrow for all the traffic. Exhaust pipes blast their fumes in the urban canyons, while radios blast out new kinds of music. A new era is dawning. At the, at the rate that I was going, it was not going to finish. Hey, chapter two, mission eight. Like, what is that? You've already tried a few things. In the automotive business, for example. As luck would have it, no one wanted to buy a car from you. Then you notice that people like to be chauffeured around in your cars. So why not make your living doing it? Set up a bus company for everyone who can't afford a car. Let the American dream come true. You've been driving people across the country in a spacious automobile for quite some time now. At first, it was just your former buddies from the iron mine up in Alice. But word of the advantages you have to offer has gotten around. Now, so many people want to get in on the pleasure of your transportation service that it's impossible for you to manage all by yourself. You need capable staff. Several young people can be found in the surrounding area who are currently looking for a job and would be suitable for your company. Get them together and bring them here. All right. <clears throat> so we're in the Roaring Twenties and we're in the U.S. Um, so we're on the Minnesota-Wisconsin border. There's Lake Superior, Good Minneapolis, St. Paul, Eau Claire. These are in La Crosse, Rochester a lot closer than real life but you know it is a game and st cloud sorry we have to bring people to the training center which is over here well let's take a building um and we'll just do we'll do an awkward one like this because we're only bringing people um, so then we can do some tram stops. Uh, so there's the one. So let's uh, just take people from Minneapolis over here. Actually, I'm going to have them. Well, there's an existing one. Oh, that must be a tram stop right there. Oh, yep, it's right there. Uh, okay, we'll hit that. There. And then we'll just hit one as soon as we get out. Like that. Oh yeah, you can see that there's already a tram. Not my tram, but there's a tram there. A new line. 
One, two, three. All right, and we'll do bus to training. And then we'll just build a road depot right next to training facility. And passengers, yep. Let's start off with a nice 10. Never mind, we can't. <coughs> <coughs> but these can hold nine people. All right, so let's speed up some time. Ah, that's cool. I thought they were, so the trucks, if you deploy them, they'll, they'll follow the line exactly. How this ended up doing, it ended up splitting to like three different, ended up picking three different, uh, stops right off the bat just so that they would not be all in one line and they'd be more spread out like i can see this one's headed to new street just this one and this one's headed to manchester road which is that one so it's one two three well this one already has two people in it Hey, where's this tram stop? Oh, right there. Interesting. The, the first bus, the bus that went to Manchester Road, grabbed seven people in the, these two stops on the way to the train center. Uh, I'm So those are mediums which can have 40 yeah bump that up. Pe we don't need people slowing down that much There we go Like they're 40 here drop to 20 and then up to 40 again. That's that's absurd Ah, uh, So the seven people that were on here one didn't get off at the training facility Oh, it's leveling up. Where is the other bus? There it is. Nine for nine. This will be a nice quick first mission of the, or first assignment of the mission. Your employees ought to drive properly, otherwise people get car sick, and that in turn is bad for business. It's high time that a training route was set up. All right, so let's do a truck unload. And we'll just add waypoints. I think that'll work. New line. Okay. We'll do training. Or truck. Training. And new line. School lane. Instead of going back and forth. Ah, I wasn't sure if it'd go all the way around, but so I only needed the one. Um, and then this is bus training. Chain. And um, I think I'm gonna have to build. I'll just throw a road depot over here. And I will buy
You can go to the truck training. If I. And then. Sell you. And buy the same for this one. And bus training. Have your people make a few test drives first before you let them loose on paying customers. With you, there's no room for road hogs. Oh. Train staff in order to increase the number of vehicles to at least 10 of each. I'm. All right, I'm selling you. And we're buying as many vehicles as possible. Your buses, so go to bus training. And I can only have three. So truck training. So I can only, I only have enough trained people for three and I have to get them up to 10. So, and it also says in order to increase further increase the vehicle limit you can continue to operate the training vehicles after i complete the task so throughout this entire mission my goal is to keep people driving around this <clears throat> loop essentially to train more people so i can have more vehicles on the overall road um so i mean i could just take this and just like just clone clone them quick quickest way and that's why i had them go back and forth or go to different directions you've trained a fair number of reputable driving staff and you need them too traveling by bus is becoming more and more popular to keep the streets from becoming completely clogged, yet still enable the automotive industry to keep on selling cars, a license to provide transportation services has to be acquired. Time to get into the long distance bus business. You've already gotten a license for transportation services in Minneapolis. Get your hands on more licenses so that your bus business gets rolling. Okay, establish at least three bus lines from neighboring towns to Minneapolis and transport 50 passengers by their appropriate licenses for this in their respective town centers. All right. We'll do Rochester. And Oak Player. And St. Cloud. So. They're all like over here. I can you utilize Eau Claire to that one. But here, let me do this. Let's start building. We'll do two and two. We'll make it a sizable bus station. Just like that. And we'll make a new line. Did the wrong one. Oh, okay. Hang on. I have 10 vehicles. Let's clone them all. There we go. That way the training starts moving faster while I'm doing this. So, yeah, new line. Add Eau Claire to North to St. Paul North, which is weird.
We'll rename that one training center. Oh, look at how fast the training's going. Okay, um, so that's the first one. <clears throat> and we'll do bus. Oh, clear. We'll just, I mean, they're all headed to Minneapolis. So we'll, we'll just uh, tell them where they're headed to. All right, and we'll do the same thing in Rochester. Um, tram station, actually. Kind of want to have it at the center of town. Well, sorry, you'll, the town will rebuild. Um, and actually, I'm going to replace this one here that I built. Yeah. And then I'm going to build the tram station down here. Don't know why that building had to get removed. Oh, the street lights. So then this line will be Rochester. Hope oh, that's not St. Paul. Might be. To Queen Street. We'll call this Rochester or Bus Rochester. And across. Y'all are residential, is the industrial. I'm just gonna build on this side. I might. Yeah. We'll just go right there. Just add to that intersection. I hope this one counts, but and we'll do bus look cross. Um, make sure we add all spots. Just for efficiency purposes. Oh, I can have like 15 more. Okay. And for the sake of doing it all, we'll add St. Cloud in here too. And a new line. Add all lanes of there. And we'll go bus paint cloud. We only had to do three. <clears throat> but I want to do all four. Um Alright, so then we'll hit the depot over here. Five vehicles. I can have twenty more buses. Which works. We'll do five each way. So five to the bus to Eau Claire. Five to the bus to Lacrosse. La wow. Can I talk? Five to the Rochester and then five to St. Cloud. <coughs> Meanwhile. The 10 on each of these lines are just cruising and training a lot more people. I'm going to need those truck spaces later. And the buses later. But so. Oh, yeah, you can see all the. 
all the people in there. I I know it said Minneapolis, but I'm pretty sure this one will count over here on Queen Street. Um, did I forget which part. I think this part is counted towards Minneapolis, and this is St. Paul. It was like this. So I think this point, general point, is Minneapolis, and this general point is St. Paul. So like, because the, the road depot over here is considered St. Paul. So I think the, like the line is down here or something. Oh, and we have people boarded already. Excellent, excellent. Well, there's a lot of people in lacrosse that want to come. And Rochester. And St. Cloud. Oh, I can hire more buses. I'll wait till it gets to 12. And then I can send... Uh, three more to each. Eau Claire. Lacrosse. Rochester. And St. Cloud. Your business is running fabulously. Although your passengers are getting seriously bounced around on the out-of-town routes, the roads are in a poor state. Relief is supposed to come via a government program to fund road construction. Support the efforts toward road improvement so that the ride in your buses is more comfortable in the future. Make sure the road construction proceeds quickly by taking over delivery of the necessary construction materials. All right, we're building highways all. So we're gonna supply the road maintenance depots with a total of a hundred construction materials and a hundred asphalt. So where's, or yeah, where's the depot? Ah, okay, so we have to go here. So let's build a truck unload station right next to here. And a loading one. And one over here. Excellent. Okay. So now a new line from asphalt to here. And this will be truck asphalt to depot. And a new line. And we'll call this one truck uh, construction to depot. All right, I'm going to buy the vehicles. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to have him talk about what we're doing next. <laughs> or the bonus mission here. First and foremost. It takes one thing to make a successful business even more successful. Good marketing. That not only includes employees with meticulous manners and snappy uniforms, it means good-looking buses too. Provide for a well-done presentation scenario down to the last detail. I will accept that. Since you've already been able to get hold of several route permits, now it's worth it to lend each individual line a distinctive character. Okay, I'm at 15. All right, send this one to truck, and then the other 20. Okay, it is the asphalt one. Okay, good. Alright, 
paint the buses for at least five lines in a different color. Okay, so we'll do bus to Claire. Select them all. Paint them. We'll we'll do the blue of their line. How about this one? Select them all. Paint them light blue. Rochester, let's select them all. St. Cloud. We'll paint all these ones with that nice green. Hooray! Lots of colorful buses cheerfully curve across the Midwest, and no one has a clue that they all belong to one and the same company, which probably wasn't the smartest move when it comes to advertising. Oh, pfft. it's fine. It, it, it's fine. Oh, now we got to paint them all the same color. We got a nice bright yellow. Nice bright yellow. All the buses. There Your go. buses are easily recognized, even at a distance. Their color stands for top quality. There's a name for all this. It's called corporate identity. Excellent. Now when they see the big yellow bus, they know it's me. All right. Oh. I messed up. So asphalt, it's just the production. Um. But for the construction materials, I actually have to bring stone to make the construction materials. So, can I just like, can I build streets? Let's do a nice curved road. Let's just do a shortcut because I don't want them driving through city with all this construction material. Alright. <clears throat> so now we have to make a line that goes Actually, I'm gonna delete all that. I'll, de I'll delete the bridge. I wanted to do it a different way. Oh, there's two different. Maintenance depots? What? Oh, it doesn't matter which one's which. Okay. Never mind. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that bridge back. And instead, we're going to utilize the Eau Claire one over here. So we're going to put the building right next to it. It's kind of like multi-purposing your vehicles. So we're going to take the line, we're going to delete this one that we just made. But this yellow one, the construction depot. We're going to get rid of Rochester North. We're going to add this new... Or let's start over. We're going to start at the stone facility. Come down to the construction materials. Drop off that, pick up the construction materials, and drive back up here to the Eau Claire Exchange. Or to the... to this depot. And then they're gonna go right back and pick up the stone. 
So the vehicle is on that one. We're getting moved to that. Oh, they were already there, so they just got repurposed. So they're doing a lot of back and forth. If anything, I could add a bridge here and they'll do a loop, I think. Or likewise, they could have came here, kept driving, dropped it off here, and then gone back. But I have to make sure I tell them to use all lanes so we're more efficient. Like that. I didn't realize there were multiple uh, road depots. I thought there was just the one. Just gonna speed these ones up. So, the only issue is the first couple trucks won't actually grab construction materials because it'll, it'll have to get primed. Oh, yeah, so like this one, it's gonna drop off, but there's no construction materials for it to pick up yet because they have to produce the construction materials. Kind of nice that you can continuously train throughout the whole thing and like I have so many trucks and buses available Although my it looks like those are hanging in there Could use probably a few more buses, but There we go, I see like all of them I loaded up now. So now they're gonna start dumping. Stowing in and getting construction materials back. Yeah, I wonder if adding a bridge here would actually be worth it. I'll do it. And now if we take a look at the line, yeah, see, now they're just going to do a big loop instead of like double backing, which is the more efficient way of, it's just a big loop. I don't have any vehicles for that. Let's buy a couple buses. 10 sounds good. Let's send that to just the Minneapolis loop so that because like this, this supplies quite a bit of area. Well, now it will, you know, bounce all around to everything else. So that would cr increase demand for people go from other cities if they have any place in Minneapolis they want to go. Alright, now we're delivering some here.
Yeah, so it doesn't need both. It could take either or. To produce stuff. Wow, that's already level two. You know, I have more availability. Let's do another 20. Asphalt. And another 20. Uh, construction. I'm pretty sure they'll still be earning me money. While I'm, uh... <clears throat> continuing on with the rest of the mission. All right, so we are about halfway through on the construction materials. I think the small road can only do. Have space for 66 buses. Oh, these are the new ones they just sent out. Has to be fifty. Yeah, so I can't build higher con like highways yet. <clears throat> All right, seventy five. Right, there, there they are. Yeah, so they're capped out at forty. Which they can actually go faster than that, so. Excellent. The smooth, wide streets provide for an entirely new feel on the road. The buses can drive much faster now, but that also consumes a lot more fuel. Make sure that the fuel supply is insured for the entire area you cover, not that you're suddenly left high and dry, out of gas on the open road. Until recently, people still thought that crude oil might become scarce someday. How wrong can you be? Make sure that the never-ending supplies of oil are directed to fuel production. Excellent. Can I build? Oh, I can build the highways. Wait, I can build the large country roads. Okay, so I built small country roads. I'm going to upgrade all these to medium country roads. 10k. At the same cost no matter what. This will be 35 with that one. Yeah. Now we can get the buses really moving. 
Buses and trucks, that is. Oh, wait, what? I didn't want to build those. Good. Um, there we go. Now all the highway or all the trucks are going max speed. Or they can go max speed. 50. <clears throat> but that's leveling up. I'd be damned. Okay. I'll be making lots of money soon. Okay. So establish a railway line to the refinery with oil. A fuel refinery. The oil refiner. Okay. And the oil well is over here. That is super congested in the city. Um, I'm doing a big ass loop. Okay, let, so let's pause. <coughs> let's build this. Like so. Let's connect it. And then let's build another one. Yep, I'll just go on the back side. Like so. Um, and I think I'll build it like over here. Yeah. That works. So let's see what this will be like if I just go straight to it. Not bad, actually. All 120. Um, a pretty massive tunnel, actually. But we have money to burn, so let's do it. Aha, I can build a better bridge. So this is actually. Can't build it off the map. So we can go here. Does it calculate? It, it like judges it based on. Like where it starts. So that's why the loop is even bigger. So you can just straighten out and go over here. And that maintains 120. That's pretty cheap. The like $2 million one because of the...
we'll go there and actually I'm gonna do that. And then do a nice bridge over it. That way the highway doesn't have to stop for the train. Change this to the better one. Just so it doesn't have to slow down, just for the bridge. No, I don't want a tunnel and a bridge. Yeah. That will work. I'm trying to go with the land a little bit so I don't have to make as many tunnels. And especially bridges like that. Like this, like, that's not necessary to make a tunnel. We'll come from here to that. That one, I'll have to make a tunnel. That's. Can't change that. So then, the new line. It was just like that. Change this train. And I'm going to do oil circle. So the reason why I'm doing this is... I can have, because they, they use the same, yeah, I'll show you. They use the same, um, uh, trailers, the same cars for the, tra for the trains. Oh, see, tank cars. Um, the tank cars, it does oil, crude oil. Refined oil and then fuel. So, um, if I do that, um, it's a lot of money. I don't think we have enough money for that. Under twenty is good for now. I'm gonna buy three. Um. Yeah, buy three, and then I can check. Yeah, that's a maximum of 400. So if I select those, now all I have to do is come to signals and just throw a bunch on here. And I'll, I'll speed up time now. This way, the trains can keep moving if they're right behind each other. Otherwise, if one's on this stretch, the other one won't, won't go until it passes the next signal, until it clears the area. So if you don't have all these like signals along your path, like that one won't leave the station until the one in front of it pulls into the station. So, and I'm doing it this way, because with the tank cars, they can hold the same, all of the ingredients. So I'm trying to get the most money out of my trains as possible. By like, so they're going to come here. Where are they?
Okay, so they're here. You didn't grab any, you didn't grab any. You didn't grab any. Of course you didn't. So they're gonna do the first loop without. So they'll come here, grab the crude oil. Drop it off at the oil refinery. Which unfortunately does two to one. And we only have only one oil well. So generally you want like two oil wells per refinery. But then they'll drop it off. And then when the train next train comes, they'll grab this and bring it here. So once it gets going, the the only time the trains won't be carrying anything is from the refinery back to the oil well. So like it's utilizing as much of this circle as possible. And I only did it this way. I didn't have to do this. It it just is shorter than if they went back this way. So <coughs> this is the first one. Nope. We're gonna follow train one while it goes on its journey. So it's not actually gonna pick up any. It's gonna pick up well, some crude oil. Can't have it running out of space. Yeah, that's gonna pick up the oil, but we're actually gonna follow train two here. Did I build these? I did build them with Canterbury's. Alright. Yeah, so it has 120 units of oil. The other one's gonna drop off the oil, so by the time this gets to the station, there should be some crude oil refined, and so then this will pick up the oil. Once it gets going, the <coughs> factory will be producing it fast enough that each of them should have half, like they'll have 120 units of crude oil. They'll pick up 60 units of refined and drop it off at the fuel factory. Okay, so this is going to drop off 120 and pick up 23. Not bad. 24. 24, not bad. See, this just has to produce faster. And then it'll get to 60. But now this is in the tunnel. What used to be the post office is now a gas station. Rendezvous and rest area for man and motor. See to it that there's always enough gasoline on hand. Okay. So now we have to make some truck unload stops. At these two gas stations for now. Motorization benefits every facet of society. Nonetheless, it's already caught the attention of some very vocal opposition. It's being claimed that cars and buses harm the environment. That's nonsense, of course. But despite that, it's worth taking a few measures to appease the critics. The opposition to motorization demands more green ought to compensate for the endless streams of traffic that allegedly plow through the cities. Well, if that's all they want. Alright, beautify the town of 
Minneapolis and St. Paul. Let's plant some trees around. Bush size really big. At last, the disgruntled voices have been modified. Your measures have dispelled their concerns about motorization. And as a matter of fact, lately the air does feel fresher somehow. Okay. That's done. Now, I haven't... ...continued in the next part yet. So, while I'm doing that, hopefully I can gain money from the, uh... Um... The... The train's running. So... I'm going to start off by building this truck station here. And then take this line. And we're going to deliver. Deliver oil to this will be what fuel to Eau Claire and across. That uh, okay, I still have to do that. Buy vehicles, cargo. That can carry it. Cool. Do a nice 30. Because we have to keep up with. Um, I, I didn't put the truck in front of it. We have to keep up with the train. <clears throat> How much it can produce. So. We only have to deliver a hundred units of fuel. I think what I'm actually going to do. I might pause it here. I'm going to do something sneaky. I'm going to put a cargo station in between here. And then, oh, that's weird. There we go. Uh, I think there's two signals. And then we're gonna hit play so that they can keep moving. Do a little street action. And do something like that. Then we can do a truck unload at the fuel station there and at the gas station there. Oh, wait, no. This one will be truck fuel to St. Cloud and Minneapolis. Oh, that's Minnesota, but whatever. So we'll one, two, three, four. And then we'll do some trucks. Is 
a road depot over here? No. I'll build a road depot right there. We'll do 20. Manage line. And likewise with this. Oh, I forgot to do St. Paul. Well, I'm going to do the same thing for Rochester, and then I'm going to have a train that goes around that just delivers the fuel to the two of them. So, pause. This one's pretty straight, so this should be easy. And then we'll do... And this one will be truck, fuel, Rochester, hit play, and we'll do a new line like that, train, field dispersion. Now we can come here and go find the other train oil circle. <clears throat> and we'll. Uh, we only need one. We'll clone one of them. And we'll actually tell you you're doing the that one. So now, like this one's just coming off. When this produces fuel, which is leveling up, which is a good sign. Good. It was burning fuel. Okay, so this one hasn't leveled up yet because the shipment has to get to 200, which means this had to level up. Now that this one's leveling up, its production will go to 200, which will then in turn level up the oil refinery because that shipment will go up to 200. And that's how that stuff works. Um, so as you can see on here, it's delivering some oil. See, I could have these trains drop it off at Rochester, but the I need to also... The tanks are always well supplied, so thanks to you. Central. The population of Minneapolis is well supplied too, with local transportation. Too well. While your long-distance bus business flourishes and thrives, in the local transportation sector, you have to prevail against public mass transit operators. That's annoying. Make sure that this unwelcome competition runs out of steam. Too many passengers are still using the municipal streetcar facilities. You need to provide the more attractive offer at lower prices so that things don't stay that way. Okay. So offer a better service than the town's tram lines with your buses. Um. Competing with the tram. It's going up. The Minnesota Milling Company wants to communicate to customers that its product is extra high quality. Help it with this endeavor. So the tr competing with the tram. It paused at 34. 
four. It's like going up and down. Um. So the only one that has trams are Minneapolis, St. Paul. So I don't know if that just means we need more buses there, but we'll do the bonus and then we'll go back to that. We'll see how high it can go. Let's help this one. The flower factory wants its clientele to believe that every grain of wheat is sorted by hand before processing. Have samples from various production facilities delivered to give the impression that only the best grain is used. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to go to the processing plant. This is only a drop off one, so this should be fine. Can I do highways? That's more expensive than what I was planning, but okay. Well, that's already done. So then we can go to the building or pick up there. The truck stop. And likewise there. I'm actually going to build a curved road. I'll connect it right there. So that way they don't have to go through town. I think they'll take that option. And likewise here. So then I'll do a line that's truck um grain one. I'll do a new line. <coughs> truck grain two. So grain one will be you to you, and grain two will be you to you. I'll grab this one, and we'll do, how many can I have? I'll just, yeah, I can have 83 more, 20. So that send that to grain one. Buy vehicles and do twenty again. Send that to grain two. Alright, hit play. Alright, so the competing with the tram, that's going up. <clears throat> so whatever I had set up here initially, so far is beating out the tram. Well, I mean, it made it all the way all the way up to eight percent, so that's a good sign. So maybe I don't have to do anything, and the route I had established beforehand is working. All right, so our training is going. We're competing with the gram. Uh, we're competing with the tram. It was bouncing there for a second. We'll see if it gets to a hundred, but we're delivering grain real quick. Which I didn't actually have to do anything. Your bus company is on top in a class of its own. Not just in the Midwest. We're talking transcontinental. 
There was a time when you came from the tunnels of a mine. Today, you own one of the most profitable companies in the whole country, which proves the American dream really can come true. <clears throat> okay, well, that's a little unfortunate, because my tram was already set up, because I never took it down from the beginning of the mission, um, and it just ended up finishing. So I'm going to continue talking to you. I'm going to hit continue playing, because we have our bonus mission. To finish, let's just hit play. <coughs> As we have our first set of grain approaching the processing plant, and a second one right there. So we were <coughs> we were seconds away from completing the secondary mission. No matter where you go. The portrait of Betty, the perfect housewife, advertises for the best flower there is. But there's a rumor going round that the lady doesn't really exist at all. Alright. And there we go, that's the end of it. Um, I've had that happen a couple times in some of my missions where, like, you're working on the last one and you just finish it. Um, I'm gonna show you that it, count, it still counts um, by going into the Main menu. Mallorca, a if peaceful you it, island in the, the Midwest in the Golden Twenties. So, the U.S. economy is booming. That, that it's all fine and dandy, but once again, if you like what you watch, hit, or if you enjoyed what you watch, hit the like. And if you want to watch the rest of the series of the walkthrough, uh, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get these done, as it's taking me way too long to do so already. But we're cruising right through these, so I will talk to you later. See ya.